Hi, and welcome back to Scratch. Today, we're gonna make soft pretzels. If you'd like to support the channel, please like and share this recipe. For this, we'll need one egg, two cups of all-purpose flour, three quarter cups and one tablespoon of water divided, two third cups of baking soda, a tablespoon of softened butter, a tablespoon of coarse salt, one and a half teaspoons of active dry yeast, one and a half teaspoons of granulated sugar, a half teaspoon salt, additional water for boiling, as well as some cooking spray. We'll start by combining our one and a half teaspoons of sugar, one and a half teaspoons of yeast, and three quarter cups of warm water. Our water should be between 105 and 110 degrees Fahrenheit. We'll allow our yeast to bloom for approximately 10 minutes. Once our yeast has bloomed, we'll add our two cups of flour, spooned and leveled, to a large bowl and whisk in our half teaspoon of plain salt. Then we'll mix in our softened butter and bloomed yeast with a spatula until a shaggy dough begins to form. Once we've formed our dough, we'll start the process of kneading it. While it's possible to do this by hand, I'm going to be using a stand mixer with the dough hook attachment because it's labor intensive. I'll knead my dough with the dough hook for 15 minutes over medium low speed until our dough ball is silky and slightly springs back when lightly touched. Our dough looks fine, so we'll spray it with cooking spray and cover it with a towel and allow it to proof for about an hour or until doubled in volume. I'll use my oven's bread proof setting, but any warm place in your kitchen should work. While our bread is still proofing, we'll make our egg wash by cracking our egg in a cup and thoroughly mixing it with our remaining tablespoon of water. We'll set this aside to brush our pretzels with before baking them. Once our dough finishes proofing, we'll preheat our oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Then we'll fill a large pot, two thirds of the way full with water, stir in our two third cups of baking soda, and bring it to a boil on the stovetop over high heat, stirring occasionally. While we're waiting on our water to boil and our oven to preheat, we'll spray our dough with some additional cooking spray, shake the dough with a dough scraper, and cut it into six equal portions before rolling each portion into a log about a foot and a half long on a large work surface. Then we'll make a U-shape with our dough, twist the ends together, and fold them back down to make the classic pretzel shape. We'll press the ends into the bottom of our pretzel and transfer the pretzels to a parchment or silicone lined baking sheet. After our water comes to a rolling boil, we'll boil our shaped pretzels for 30 seconds, gently flipping them halfway through before returning them to our baking sheet. Once all of our pretzels have been boiled, we'll brush them with our egg wash and sprinkle them with our tablespoon of coarse salt before baking them in the oven at 450 degrees Fahrenheit for 12 minutes. We'll serve these with a spicy mustard or a cheese sauce for dipping. And remember, if you like the content, please subscribe.